Hello. Today I'm doing a drawing of a deer silhouette. So I'm going to start with the ground. Most of my picture is actually going to be a watercolor painting of um, a night sky, a winter sunset. Um, but I'm going to have a, a little deer standing right here. So to start, I'm going to draw two circles. I'm drawing them um, a little ways up from the ground so that there's room for the deer's legs later. I want the space in between here and here to be a little bit bigger than the size of the circle. Now I'm going to connect my circles. Now I'm going to add a little tail. For the deer's legs, I want the back legs to have a little curve. Deer kind of have a unique curved shape at the back of their back legs. And then it's coming almost straight down here. Here's the other side and it gets thinner as it comes down. The other back leg is gonna come down right next to it. Nice and thin. The front legs are straight. Except I'm gonna make one of them stepping forward. With a little bit of a hoof. Now for the deer's neck, it'll come curving up. Deer have really long necks. I'll add a little circle at the top for its head. Now if the deer was turning and looking straight at me, I wouldn't add anything to the shape of the head. But if the deer is looking forward, I would add a little no nose coming out here. I'm gonna have my deer looking backward. So here's his forehead and here's his nose. Now I'm adding some little almond shaped ears on each side. If I want this to be a female deer, I'll leave it like this. But if I want it to be a male deer, or a reindeer, I'll add antlers, because reindeer, um, both the male and the female, have antlers. So for the antlers, I'm going to go up, make a little line going straight up. Then I'm going to start about in the middle of that line and make a curved line coming out. Then I'll add another small piece to make this kind of into a letter Y shape. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Coming out and splitting at the top into a letter Y shape. That's the silhouette of my deer. I could erase these inside lines, but I don't actually need to because I'm going to be going over the whole thing in Sharpie later. So after I've drawn my silhouette, I'm going to paint the whole paper with watercolors and then I'm going to go over the deer in, in Sharpie. Thanks for watching.